All right, earlier this week, Pfizer and Biotech gave many Americans a lot of hope. They sent the stock market soaring when they announced that early analysis of their phase three COVID-19 vaccine showed more than 90% efficacy. Yes, our next guest, a 16-year-old who was enrolled in the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine trial being conducted at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Caitlin Evans and her mom, Lori, are here today to talk about the importance of having young participants in these trials and exactly why she decided to volunteer. Good afternoon to both of you. And Lori, I'll start with you because you're an elementary school teacher. You're a single mom of two kids. Why was it important for you to encourage your daughter to get this, to be a part of this vaccine trial? Actually, she and her brother and I all saw on the news in the spring that there was a vaccine trial right here in Cincinnati at Cincinnati Children's and that they needed participants. And so we all three signed up to do it and Caitlin got the call um, and we did not. Um, but we knew that they needed participants in the vaccine trials because they need numbers and they need data. And this was just a little way that the three of us, especially her, could help out. Caitlin, there's a, this is a blind study. So there's a 50-50 chance that you were actually just given a placebo. You don't know. I understand you just had your last injection. So tell us how you're feeling, both mentally and physically. Well, like you said, I don't know if I got a vaccine or a placebo. There's a 50-50 chance. So they're just uh, asking me to monitor any symptoms that I have. Every Wednesday, I fill out a little survey saying, like, if I've had any symptoms and I've been very fortunate and that I haven't at all. People hear that a, a parent would expose their child or allow their child to be in a in a trial like this might stop and think, well, why, why would you even have any type of risk that you would put your child in? What do you say to those folks? And tell me about the overwhelming positive response you've also gotten for allowing your child to actually do something that could help humanity, frankly. Okay. Uh, when we signed up, they sent us information about it. So I looked over it, showed it to some people that I know in the medical profession or who have formerly been in the medical profession. It looked very safe. She was in phase two or phase three. So we went, when we went to Cincinnati Children's that day, they brought us through all of the effects that happened in phase one. But again, they were very minor headaches, you know, sore at the injection site, low, site, low grade fever, things like that. Um, and I tend to believe the scientists and the doctors and the nurses when they're telling me it's safe. Uh, Lori and Caitlin, yeah. again, really, it's congratulations on what you're doing. It's good to see. We talk so much about adults in these trials and what's happening, but kids need to participate. Teenagers need to help out, and you all are doing that. This is really wonderful what you're doing. So thank you both for being here. Thank you. And, and Doc, I saw you smiling over yeah. there as you watch this. It's important to have teenagers in these trials. Absolutely. Need that proud of her. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.